Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Paisley Rechtal from her collection Animal Eye, published by University of Pittsburgh Press in 2012. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is called Nightingale, and appears towards the beginning of the collection. Nightingale. The boy sits at the kitchen table, pointing through the window at the dark. There is a bird that comes at night, he says, that makes the most beautiful music. Steam off of the edges of the field, the gray and brown and green of it, and beyond this, the sea. What does he hear? I imagine it is a nightingale, but have never heard one. The look on the boy's face as he speaks is the sound of a nightingale. It is the song of a man strapped to his mast, straining and tearing at the straps that bind him. A small breeze moves off the sea. It whistles over the shore, the dark seal shapes that rock in and out of the shoals. It hums there, till one of them turns long-necked, broken, and the clothes pull off like hair as the divers drag the changed body out of the sea. The field is wet and full of stars. The boy cocks his head toward the dark. I watch him moving back and forth inside my vision. His body, pieces of eye and silk and arm and neck cord. In the story, the man binds himself so that he can listen. He wants to hear the music that will pull him down. He wants to put his head where the heart lives, that small hard singing behind a ribcage. Night cuts down through the field. In spring, the mist will burn off. The sea return bright green. I have never seen such a live, dead thing before. I think it is a nightingale. I tell the boy the name, but he only smiles at me. And yet, how is it not a nightingale? Alone, the soft grunt of wings beating behind me. I can sense its gold eye, the throat encrusted with glass. I can hear the water slapping the white sides of the shore. The boy stares out the kitchen window. It hangs like a little square of cold behind him, a pain, a shadow. The night outside this shadow is black. The sea is distant. The bird, however I imagine it, sings. Um, and that was Nightingale by Paisley Rechtal from Animal Eye. Gorgeous poem and a gorgeous book. Um, uh, please check out the description of this video for more information about the poet and about where to purchase this book, um, which I do highly recommend. Um, what else can I say? Uh, if you like these videos, like this video with a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, when you subscribe, it helps keep these videos visible and easier to, to find for other people. And it helps, stay, well, it helps me stay motivated knowing that I have a growing audience. I think we are at 71, 72 right now with a small but, uh, but loyal band of, of watchers um, who have, well, subscribers and many more watchers out there. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to share um, these poems and I am very grateful uh, and very fortunate to, to have a, a large collection of poetry to draw on. Um, I hope uh, if you're out there and you have a book out and you would like to be featured on this channel, let me know and we'll see if we can figure out a way to make that happen. Um, if you enjoy these things, uh, yeah, please do share them. Um, this is National Poetry Month and I'm grateful to be able to keep doing what I've been doing um, since the pandemic started and I'm grateful that we have this means to, to share this space together, to celebrate poetry, uh, to find connection um, through language um, across distance and across time. Um, keep reading and keep writing, whatever you're doing. Uh, find ways to be connected to the outside world. And uh, as the weather gets better and better, um, find opportunities to step out there into the sunlight. And uh, I know for me at least, it's been really nice to have opportunities to go for walks and to, to be out, um, out of the, uh, out of the cave, right? <laughs> um, even for a hermit, sometimes it's nice to be out into the world. 
And so uh, keep doing what you need to do. Until uh, next time, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. We'll be back with more poetry and more reading. If you have suggestions and ideas um, or just comments, feel free to let me know. And uh, until next time, stay safe and well. Keep reading. Keep being engaged. Keep building bridges um, and finding ways to, to hear the voices of those around you um, and to celebrate them. And we'll be back again soon. Um, until then, be well. And uh, good luck and keep writing. Bye.